Good evening. Welcome to Whitehall's sixth annual summer celebration. I am Laura Weir. I'm the regent here at this beautiful historic mansion and its surrounding estate gardens. I hope you're enjoying this very special evening and I'm pleased that you could join us to recognize James Allen. His professional leadership and countless civic contributions have made him the obvious choice for this year's Bittner's Award. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy this video tribute to honor Jim. Thank you. Uh, well, we all know Jim has fabulous credentials. He has been an outstanding chairman and CEO of Heard Lines. Graduated from DePaul University in 1979. Served as chair of the, the board of the Fund for the Arts. Board of Trustees of Bellarmine University. Board of Advisors of the University of Louisville Business School. MBA from Ohio State. Board of Advisors of the Ohio State University Business School. Jefferson County School Board. Louisville Zoo Foundation. Treasurer and Vice President of Metropolitan YMCA of Louisville. Leader Chair of Champions for Education. Chairman of the Louisville Downtown Development Corporation Board of Directors. Planned Giving Committee of the Louisville Chapter of the American Red Cross. Served as the chair of our campaign. Junior Achievement Kentuckiana Business Hall of Fame. President of the Pendennis Club. Board Member of Sigma Chi Foundation. Foundation. Chairman of the Jefferson County Public Education Foundation. Winner of YMCA of Louisville Award. The boards of the Louisville Zoo, Louisville Collegiate, and the Norton Foundation. I started at the Fund for the Arts in July of 2014, and Jim Allen was the chair of my board. So Jim hired me. Um, Jim was um, my kind of partner in crime through my first year at the Fund for the Arts, and it was an incredible gift to have the opportunity to work with Jim. Jim was um, both a really solid um, leader of the fund, but also really thoughtful and strategic about the future of the organization. Um, Jim's leadership in education um, initiatives and economic development initiatives as well as the arts has really changed the landscape of our community. Um, I think he is one of the, the most catalytic leaders, the most charismatic and authentic leaders that we have in our community. And we at the Fund for the Arts are just grateful to have him um, as a member of our board, and I'm grateful to call him a friend. I've known Jim Allen for over 25 years. Uh, I appreciate so much working with him in various capacities and, and uh, seeing how he leads and has such a passion for our community. One of the, the best stories about Jim that he shared with me is the story of when Hilliard Lions and the employees bought Hilliard Lions back from PNC. In 2008, PNC had decided to sell Hilliard Lions to a investment banking firm from New York. The firm asked Jim to continue as CEO and to move his management team with the company to the Northeast. At that point, Jim was so unselfish, he basically said, I'm not in this to continue to be CEO of Heard Lines unless it's located in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, Jim uh, drove to uh, Bowling Green, met with Spencer Coase and Pete Mahirin. They then made a recommendation to the board and Houchins Industries bought Heard Lines and kept the home office here in Louisville, Kentucky. And the, the work that they did together to, to buy that back was one of the most meaningful um, things that he had gone through. And I know that, that um, that's the case that the people there at Hilliard Lions love working for and with him as well. And he does a wonderful event called the Hill Hilliard Lion Excellence Awards, which recognizes the best of the best in Jefferson County, and it's a signature event. So Jim is a servant leader. J Jim is a connector. Jim sees something that can be done, and he's about the business of going out and doing it and getting other people to do it with him. Jim is an awesome citizen, and by that I mean he is always willing to step up to help, and he expects nothing in return. And there's just a handful of people like that in the city and the state but Jim has a heart of gold, super smart, and anything he can do to help others, he does it. I think the great thing about Jim Allen is that he's comfortable in Frankfurt talking to a legislator, but he's as comfortable in somebody's kitchen standing around having pizza or having some kind of an event. 
Uh, so he is just able to maneuver everywhere in the community. And what he's done in terms of honoring our teachers, our principals, lifting all JCPS up is extraordinary. A lot of people are quick to criticize. Jim's always, how can I help? How can we make the situation better? So if we had more Jim Allens in this city and in this country, we'd be in a lot better position. Just a tremendous, tremendous individual. And if there's an important discussion happening, Jim Allen is there. He loves his family, clearly. His wife and daughter are central to who he is, always showing up with them at different events. And you have that kind of Allen family joy that just comes through when you see them together. It's been said behind every good man, there is a good woman. In Jim's life, he has had three, his mother, myself, and Rebecca. I'm so proud of all the philanthropic work he is involved with. He is most willing to always help in any situation. I do wish that his parents have, would have been around to see what he has accomplished because they would have been so proud. I've always had an extremely close relationship with both of my parents. Um, my dad has always been there for me and he's incredibly understanding and committed, um, good listener. So he, um, is very patient with me. He's read a lot of papers over the years. Um, he's a good proofreader. I will tell you, he is a lover of our animals, Henry and Molly. As a matter of fact, when he comes in, I think they get a kiss before Missy or Rebecca would get a kiss. My dad is um, just a genuine and committed person in all aspects of his life. Um, so he, um, I feel like, places you know equal emphasis on his family and his involvement in the community, and um, is you know always willing to take on pretty much anything that comes his way. Jim is approaching 35 years of working at Hilliard's this July 6th. It's the first and only job he's ever had. In closing, I would like to say, I witnessed how hard he worked to bring Hilliard Lines back to a family. Clearly he's built a great business, but he is as much interested in building a greater community, a greater state. A tremendous citizen, I consider Jim a good friend of mine as well. And he's the kind of guy you want to have with you in the trenches because you know you will get things done and you know you will do the right thing. We have a vision for our students that all JCPS students graduate prepared to reach their full potential and to contribute as thoughtful, responsible citizens to our shared, diverse world. So if I had to say to our students, what does that sound like? What does that look like? I would point to Jim Allen, thoughtful, responsible citizen who contributes to our shared, diverse world. I just want to say this about Jim Allen. He's been so important in our community. We all appreciate, Jim, what you've done. Congratulations on Whitehall's Community Leader Award. It's well-deserved, and, and uh, we appreciate everything.